a very warm welcome to the Cushman and Wakefield London Markets Conference. The media and tech sector is increasingly engaged in a war as businesses compete to employ the best talent. This is changing the locational dynamics of the industry. In the UK, the talent wants to be in Shoreditch and Soho, not Slough and Swindon. And as a consequence, we're seeing businesses becoming more London-centric again. Whilst the property industry sells space on a rent per square foot basis, occupiers buy space, measure the efficiency of space, recharge accommodation internally on a cost per head basis. Should the property industry not recognise what its consumers want and market space on this basis, those with efficient buildings would have nothing to fear. Whether it's where occupiers choose to locate, how they procure their space, or how they occupy their space, there's no doubt in my mind that the requirements of occupiers are changing at a faster pace than perhaps at any time over the last 20 years. London is one of the two greatest financial centres in, in the world, and therefore I think it's always going to be a draw for talent, and it's always going to be a very critical part of any strategy that a financial services company is going to want to exploit. There already have been more law firm mergers than we've seen for a while, and we're certainly expecting that to continue. The question for law firms is, is less about West End City Canary Wharf. I think it's more around focusing where one really needs one's people. And I think that's a London or outside London, or indeed, is it in the UK? The media, the advertising sector as a whole is US dominated. And still for US companies coming this way, London is, a, is, a, is the perfect entrance around Europe. If we're going to create and, and, and maintain a central London hub of creative businesses, we've got to find a way somehow to either squash more people in or keep the, the rent at an affordable level. So we need to demonstrate that we have in London the capacity to be able to support and encourage these super growth tech companies, while at the same time being incredibly accessible to the startups. You maybe need 100 startups to find, before you find one company that's going to be able to employ you know, 1,000 people. So therefore, you need a very strong feedstock of startups. So therefore, when you're designing and for making buildings available, and when you're thinking about the types of leases that you're talking about, please, please be flexible. London has an incredible geographical uh, competitive advantage. So I wouldn't be surprised if more and more CEOs and chairmen are going to evaluate how to spend more and more time in London and potentially make it actually a location where they should move uh, a company. And it's up to London to basically provide the right incentives for that to happen. Yeah.